I'm your host, Jimmy Chen. Arr. Hello, I'm Jimmy Chen. Hey, Jimmy Chen, and I'm your friendly neighborhood Holy Bible Explainer. <laughs> My channel is Food for HNM, and we are reading First Chronicles 17. Okay, now the next section is titled God's Promise. Wait a minute, we already read this. See, this is imperfect. Imperfect. See, I'm a human. I'm not like Spock. I'm like Kirk. Yeah, I'm flawed. So I'm not a CGI. Oops. We are reading First Chronicles 18. First Chronicles 18. I did this. The next section is titled King David's Victories. In the course of time, King David defeated the Philistines, defeated them all, and subdued them. And he took Gath and its surrounding villages from the control of the Philistines. King David also defeated the Moabites. And they became subject to him and brought him tribute. Moreover, King David defeated Had Hadadezer, king of Zobah, in the vicinity of Hamath, when he went to set up his monument at the Euphrates River. King David captured a thousand of his chariots, seven thousand chariot charioteers, and twenty thousand foot soldiers. He hamstrung all but a hundred of the chariot horses. So he just he made them do like leg curls, and they were like, ah! And the horses like my my hammies. They're cramped up that when the Arameans of Damascus came to help Hadadezer, king of Zobah, King David struck down twenty two thousand of them. He put garrisons in the Aramean kingdom of Damascus and the Arameans became subject to him and brought him tribute. The Lord gave King David victory wherever he went. King David took the gold shields carried by the officers of Hadadezer and brought them to Jerusalem from Teba and Khan, towns that belonged to Hadadezer. King David took a great quantity of bronze, which Solomon used to make the bronze sea, the pillars and various bronze articles. When Tou, king of Hamath, heard that King David had defeated the entire army of Hadadezer, king of Zobah. He sent his son Hador Hadoram to King David to greet him and congratulate him on his victory in battle over Hadadezer, who had been at war with Tou. Hadoram brought all kinds of articles of gold, gold, of silver and of bronze. 
King David dedicated these articles to the Lord as he had done with the silver and gold he had taken from all these nations Edom or Edom and Moab the Ammonites and the Philistines and Amalek so what Tohu's uh, son gave to him he dedicated them to the Lord so before the Israelites would completely wipe out cities and the people in them and take their articles of gold and silver and dedicate them to the Lord like put them in a temple because they were like cursed but I guess for the time being King back then King David didn't wipe out Tohu but took his gold silver and bronze and put it in the temple Abishai son of Zeruiah struck down 18,000 Edomites or Edomites in the Valley of Salt he put garrisons in Edom or Edom and all the Edomites or Edomites became subject to King David the Lord gave King David victory wherever he went so <sighs> let's see why oh why is King David David sometimes because sometimes if you call me King James I'll be like I like it I like it but you know you might make me like egotistic I might have a big head yeah So I was, I was voicing, uh, part of me. So, you have to remember, people sometimes need time to themselves, you know, like, you don't really know that person, you know. There's a, there's a side of them that is like, you know, like they have a family life and they have, uh, they like to have friends, right? And they like, you know, what they like and dislike, you don't really know, you know. You know even though I'm the great Bible explainer, you know, I'm also someone who eats a lot of pizza. Yeah, I told you. You know, I'm like Jimmy, the pizza eating guy. You know, not the super holy Bible explainer. For example, the next section is King David's officials. King David reigned over all Israel, doing what was just and right. Who eat just and right? It is right. Give thanks to the Lord. It is right, just and right. So King David reigned. He was the ruler, the king of all Israel, both Israel and Judah, and doing what was just and right. So he gave many thanks to the Lord. Joab, son of Zeruiah, was over the army. 
Jehoshaphat, son of Ahilud, was recorder. Zadok, son of Ahitub and Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, were priests. Shavsha was secretary. Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, was over the Kerethite and Pelethite. And King David's sons were chief officials at the king's side. So, thanks for listening. That was first. Chronicles 18, 18, not 17, 18. Remember, keep God first. Take your places. And believe in the Lord Jesus. And he, if you believe in your heart that he is the Lord and Savior, and confess with this mouth, with this talking voice, that he is the Lord and Savior. He is, you could say, he is my Lord my savior then you know if you believe then you shall not perish you know you won't die and then like never wake up when your consciousness just dissipate you know but you will live on you know you will not perish but he have but have eternal life you'll live forever in heaven so after you die, he'll raise you up somehow and take you to heaven and you'll live forever. Cool, man. Alright, remember, prunes! Eat pr uh. Hello, I'm Jimmy Chan. A Jimmy Chan. Remember, a Jimmy Chan is a human being. Human beings are just called Jimmy Chans. You know, like, Earth could be called... Terra or Urantia, but not a second cousin that you never wanted. Take care of the earth, it's the only one we've got. <sighs> However, my channel, you know, I'm, a, I'm your friendly neighborhood. Holy Bible Explainer, and then uh, my channel is food for H and M. We are reading First Chronicles 19. The next section is titled King David Re Defeats the Ammonites. In the course of time, Nahash, king of the Ammonites, died. And his son succeeded him as king. So Nahash is an old enemy of King David. So his son took the throne. King David thought, I will show kindness to Hanan of Hanan, son of Nahash, he's an Ammonite king, because his father showed kindness to me. Hmm. So King David sent a delegation to express his sympathy to Hanan concerning his father when king david's envoys came to hanan in the land of the ammonites to express sympathy to him the ammonite commanders said to hanan do you think king david is honoring your father by sending envoys to you to to express sympathy Having his envoys come to you only to explore and spy out <coughs> pardon me, the country and overthrow it? So Hanun seized King David's envoys, shaved them, cut off their garments at the buttocks. You know, like Prince had exposed buttocks and, you know, he had these cool pants. But you see his butt cheeks and sent them away. That is uh, humiliating. When someone came and told King David about the men, he sent messengers 
to meet them, for they were greatly humiliated. The king said, Stay at Jericho till your beards have grown, and then come back. When the Ammonites realized that they have become obnoxious to King David, Hanan and the Ammonite sent a thousand talents of silver to hire chariots and chariot charioteers from Aram, Naharaim, Aram, Ma'aka, and Zoba. They hired 32,000 chariots and charioteers, as well as the king of Ma'aka with his troops, who came and camped near Medeba while the Ammonites were mustered from their towns and moved out for battle. On hearing this, King David sent Joab, right, King David sent Joab out with the entire army of the fighting men. The Ammonites came out and drew up in battle formation at the entrance to their city. While the kings who had come were by themselves in the open country Joab saw that there were battle lines in front of them and in front of him and behind him so he selected some of the best troops in Israel that's ancient Israel not modern modern day Israel Remember, you have to watch my earlier videos and deployed them against the Arameans, he put the rest of the men under the command of Abishai, his brother, and they were deployed against the Ammonites. So remember, Joab, he is pretty good. He's pretty good as a commander. Joab said, if the Arameans are too strong for me, then you are to rescue me. But if the Ammonites are too strong for you, then I will rescue you. Be strong and let us fight bravely for our people and the cities of our God. The Lord will do what is good in his sight. Then Joab and the troops with him advanced advanced moved forward to fight the Arameans and they fled before him when the Ammonites realized that the Arameans were fleeing they too fled before his brother Abishai and went inside the city so Joab went back to Jerusalem after the Arameans saw when after the Arameans saw that they had been routed by Israel, they sent messengers and had Arameans brought from beyond the Euphrates Euphrates River with Shofak the commander of Hadadezer's army leading them. When King David was told of this, he gathered all Israel and crossed the Jordan. He advanced against them and formed his battle lines. Battle lines opposite them. King David formed. Well, this must be a measure of how the jail is going. King David formed his lines to meet the Arameans in battle, and they fought against him.
but they fled before Israel. And King David killed 7,000 of their charioteers and 40,000 of their foot soldiers. He also killed Shofak, the commander of their army. When the vassals of Hadadezer saw that they had been routed by Israel, they made peace with King David and became subject to him. So the Arameans were not willing to help. I wonder if a bunch of gods able to shrink these JHs into two feet tall. To help the Ammonites anymore. Because I That is First Chronicles 19. Let's move on to the next First Chronicles 20. The next section is called or titled The Capture Capture of Rabbah in the Spring at the time when the kings go off to war. Joel ooh. Joab led out the armed forces. He laid waste the land of the Ammonites. And I wonder why he's not at the party. Went to Rabbah and besieged it. But King David, King David, remained in Jerusalem. Joab attacked Rabbah and left it in ruins. King David took the crown from the head of their king. Took it right off his crown, right off his head. You know, crown is your head too. Took the crown off his crown from the head of their king. Its weight was found to be a talent of gold, and it was set with precious stones. And it was placed on King David's head. He took a great quantity of plunder from the city and brought out the people who were there, okay. consigning them to labor with saws and with iron picks and axes. King David did this to all the Ammonite towns. Then King David and his entire army returned to Jerusalem. The next section is titled War with the Philistines. Sekus. In the course of time, a war broke out with the Philistines. Sekus. At Gezer, at that time, Sebekai, the Hushathite, killed Sipai, one of the descendants of the Rephaites and the Philistines were subjugated in another battle with the Philistines. Elhanan, son of Jair, killed Lami, the brother of Goliath the Gittite. Uh, Lami. Ah. So Elchanan is a, one of King David's fighters. He killed the brother of Goliath, who had a spear with a shaft, like a weaver's rod. In still another battle, which took place at Gath, there was a huge man with six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot, 24 in all. So remember, I have five fingers on my hand and five see I, I have normal feet I don't have six toes I have five five toes so ten plus ten is twenty so this freak freakazoid had twenty four fingers and toes he also was descended from Rapha when he taunted Israel Jonathan son of Shimea King David's brother killed him. These were the descendants of Rapha in Gath, and they fell at the hands of King David and his men. Thank you for listening. 
Remember, keep God first and believe in the Lord Jesus. You know, I might be going to church tomorrow. Perhaps it would be interesting for you to check out the church because there's this guy named the Apostle Paul. He said that if you go in there and you just observe, you may be able to perceive the presence of the Lord, you know, that God is the creator the most blessed holy trinity is indeed there 